Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Canva. Canva is one of my favorite graphic design tools. As you can see, I use it a lot for graphics for social media. Um, but today we're looking at a new feature, which is whiteboard. So I know um, I really like allowing my students to collaborate. And one of the easiest ways to do that is via the various whiteboards that are out there. So my favorite is probably Google Jamboard, but there's Padlet, there's Microsoft Whiteboard. Um, so I'm really pleased to see that Canva have released their own whiteboard. So let's have a go at creating a blank whiteboard. So it appears in the various functions you've got there where you can choose whiteboard at the top. So let's click that. And then you've got various templates that you can use um, as uh, is to be expected and, and is coming with lots of these types of platforms. Some are a freemium model, which means they will add charges um, if you add certain templates, but you can tell and oh, scroll down. I think most of these are free, but you usually find there's a little crown appearing on the little lines if there is a charge involved. So you could choose one of these templates. You just click that and it will appear and then you can resize it and edit it as you want. So it's quite nice in that it provides you with a scaffold which you can use. Um, it's possible to copy, delete and edit that by clicking on the three dots. If we go with, let's go with a, another one. Let's try this one. Again, you can resize it by picking up the handles. Uh, you can change the color around. You can fiddle with it. So there's various things you can do. So there's shapes that you can add. but they give you a nice framework, a nice scaffold to work with. So let's go back, let's get rid of that. Uh, and you've got the standard common features that you'd expect. So you can add your own thing. So we've got sticky notes, so we can add a sticky note on there. We can move it around and we can we can time, type in it and, and, and away we go. We've got the ability to add shapes, to add graphics, so we can add a little sticker if we want to, which is quite nice. We can give some feedback to students. We've got photos and we've got videos. We've got all sorts of different things. We've got tables, so we can add a table if we want. So lots of useful features there. For me, I think what's nice is in addition to that, you've also got the ability to add comments. So we could add comments, so it could be a form of feedback. So we could add a comment and we can use the at and share it with other users who have access to it, which is quite nice. You can upload stuff, we can add text boxes, so we could add a heading. Let's make our heading slightly bigger, but we can, we can add a heading if we want, so that's there, so. Let's select that and make that slightly bigger. And obviously we can zoom in and out of our board as well. So you've got the zoom down the bottom corner. What's nice is there's a timer feature. So you could set it as a class activity and then set a timer to count down. If you hold the space bar, you can navigate around your canvas So all the sorts of features you'd expect. I say I really like the comment feature and the timer feature. And then when it comes to sharing it, you've got various options. You can add specific people. Um, when you finish with it, you can download it. And you've got a choice of just PNG for, for free download, but you've got other pay downloads. If we go back, We've got anyone with a link, which is probably my favorite one. So you can have anyone with a link and you can specify what they can do. So they can view, they can comment, they can edit. So with that, anyone with a link, you could share that via your platform, whether that's uh, Canvas or whether that's Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom, put that link in there or you could create a QR code and they could access your whiteboard and you could use it as a starting activity or as a plenary at the end. So I think really great features, really like the usability of it. Um, so I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.